I'm Allie, and in this Better Beater episode, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to make a bail on a pendant. We have lots of different videos showing how to do this, but I thought it would be nice for the Better Beater to help you become a better beater and more skilled to show you a lot of your options at once that really don't require any seed beads or sewing with thread to get them accomplished. I just did a video on doing a little crawl bail on our water drop pendant, and I'm going to show you some other options as well. So one of the videos that was just published was showing how to do a seed bead bevel with crawl stitch. But I realize many people have pendants where they're front drilled or even side drilled for that matter. So I've done a bunch of the different water drop pendants to show you some options. Number one, don't forget, especially as Potomac is expanding the chain options, that a thin chain can often go through the loop. So if you want to, you can put chain right through it. You can tie the chain for kind of a modern look if you want to. And then the chain can come out from either side, whether or not you want to connect to beads or not. You can put the knot higher up, further up, down in the project and connect that way. You can also put some beads onto that chain if they have larger holes. But chain is one option to go ahead and create kind of a different look going through to create that bail for it to hang through. Many times we don't think about that because it doesn't kind of compute usually chain being the bail type, but that can work for you. Another thing that I wanted to show was how to do a leather bail. Now, this might not be the most fit way to do this with the sparkly crystal, but leather works with it. So I have the leather that I'm showing you here going through the pendant. And basically what we're going to do is we are going to bond that together like the eternal lasso. So I'm going to take this one off, show you how to do it. We're going to get our leather through, and this is a two millimeter leather. We're going to bring the leather up toward the top of the pendant. We're going to bring the leather down towards the bottom of the pendant. Have it touch there, touch at the top. It gives it a little bit more to hold on to. Grab some 24 gauge wire and start wrapping. So I'm going to wrap up a little bit, wrap down a little bit. And then once you get it wrapped nice and tightly, go ahead and with your pliers, flatten it out, cut off any extra wire you need to. And then you can also cut off any little extra portions of leather that may be at the top or at the side that you don't need. So that's another way that you can do the bail is to just have that nice kind of cord bail. Again, I would go in here and cut that down short, cut it down shorter at the top as well. And now you can string through whatever you want with that figure eight leather on it. Another option is just to grab a head pin. So how does that work? I'm going to cut this guy off and show you how to do this guy. So I'm using a ball pin for this water drop pendant. And I have the ball pin that I'm going to put through the design. Now the ball pin is going to stop the from coming out through the end, but I'm also going to just kind of let it hang out there. I'm going to leave a tiny little bit in front of the head pin. It can be a head pin on or a ball pin, doesn't matter, and bend the wire up towards the top of the pendant. Grabbing my round nose plier, I want a loop for my bail. So I'm going to make a loop, wrap that wire around that eye pin loop one time. You can see right now it's just kind of floating there. What we're going to do then is bring that wire to the front and we're going to lock it in behind that head pin or eye pin. So you're just going to take that wire, bend it around the eye pin or the head pin, going in here and kind of pinching it towards the top. Careful not to scratch your crystal. I've scratched all of these getting ready for this. And that just gives a completely different look that you can make with having that head pin on hand. You have your little pin there. It looks like a nice finished end. And if you take a little bit more time than I did, it'll look even nicer wrapping around more. Another option is to use a wire guard. So the wire guard here, I just put one of the cylinders on either side, but very likely you're going to have extra thread and some wire guards there. So I'm going to burn this one off and show you this example as well. Going in here, you can gather some seed beads. I know I said you really wouldn't have to sew. This one's so simple though. So, so simple. So I'm going to take two of these cylinders. You can take one, doesn't matter. Grab two cylinders, go up through your wire guard, come down through the other side. I'm using cylinders just because they go quickly. You can use little seed beads if you want to. Come down through the other side. I have my thread doubled, doesn't matter for this one anyway. Go through and put your two seed beads or your two crystals 
on the other side, so through the pendant, and simply tie a knot. If you want little seed beads, you can do little seed beads that will go through the pendant. And tying that knot gives a nice top to it with just the wire guard. I like the finished look of the wire guard. And you can see how you get that nice bail look with that there. Take then your thread burner, burn down the thread edges, and finish up that style, just going right into that wire guard. If you need to also, I would go through it one more time. And you can see you can stretch open that wire guard if you need to, to have a bigger loop. That way when you string it, say on a piece of leather, it'll sit right on that side wire guard, give a nice polished look. Last thing we get to do is have more fun with raw wire. So if you are thinking chain wasn't it, leather's not it, maybe the head pin's not it, maybe you wanna even cover the entire crystal. You can also do something like a cap on the top or a glue on bail as well. I have another video showing how to do spirals and making your own pinch bail, but this one I think is the way to go with some of that uh, thicker wire. So I'm gonna get this chain guy off here. We'll use this one as a sample. And what we're gonna do is take 18 gauge wire. So I'm taking 18 gauge wire, giving yourself about seven inches or so. You're gonna take one inch through the pendant and bring the other two up towards the top, making them crisscross here. The one that's longer, we're gonna wrap it once around and then just let it sit there. The one at the top, because it's 18 gauge, there's a couple different ways you can coil, but if you want to, you can also just, oops, go kind of big and roll it down. From here, you're gonna to wanna to hold your loop and now we're gonna coil our wire, our extra wire here, down towards the pendant. So we're going around the top, around and around and around we go. And what's gonna happen is it's going to have nowhere else to go but down around the piece. So if you want it to look more coiled, you're gonna to wanna to leave yourself more wire. If you want more of that coiled look towards the top, I'm just gonna make that loop go down a little bit more. And then here at the end, if you want to, you can do a little spiral, you can do a little loop, kind of up to you what look you're going for, or you can tuck it to the back and completely get rid of that extra wire. Lots of different options that aren't just going in with seed beads and creating that seed bead bail, but I could add this if I wanted to, to a seed bead rope or a seed bead project. I love the look of these just by themselves, you can see the light pool video, a couple other videos in there too, but showing how to use the head pin, the plain wire. If you want a thinner one, you can use like a 24 gauge wire. How to work with that nice, um, Not you can work with the wire guard. You can work with leather, or if you wanna check out some of the different videos, how to do beaded bales, those are options also. These are all quick ways to go in and to change up the look, again, even using the chain, at the top of a pendant and to make it hang down to be your bail. Thanks so much for joining me in this Better Beater episode. Remember, the idea of these is to make you, in fact, a better beater. So make sure if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything from us here at Potomac Beads. We come out with new tutorials and new inspirational ideas that we love to share with you. Also, if you have a great advice or helpful hint for other Potomac Beaters that may be watching, help out the community and comment below the video with your ideas and suggestions. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos from us at Potomac Beads.